guys, as you guys remember the title, it is a new vlog and this is my first travel vlog on my channel. I'm in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It is currently 4.17 p.m. in Jamaica. Well, that's the same time in New York as well. Our flight was at 9.30 a.m. from JFK and we landed in Montego Bay at 1.20 and we actually just came back from lunch at our resort. We're currently staying at the Hilton Rose Hall Resort and they have this restaurant called Mango's. We ate some food. We had like literally a little bit of everything because we went to see. We had some jerk chicken burgers, a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, you know, jump on the vlog and introduce the vlog. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amina. I do beauty videos, fashion videos, vlogs. Basically, a little bit of everything on this channel. So if you're interested in any of that, please continue watching and please subscribe. It helps me a lot. I'm currently in Jamaica for my friend's 21st birthday. If you're not new here, you know my friend Maya. And her birthday just recently passed. Her birthday was January 27th. So wish her happy birthday. We're here for her birthday weekend and we're just enjoying everything. It's currently 85 degrees outside and I have a crop top and sweats on but I'm going to go take a shower real quick because we have some dinner plans for our birthday dinner. The view here is amazing. Everything is amazing. The people are amazing. We will be staying here for four days. So we'll be here from Thursday to day, January 28th to February 1st, Monday. So it's four days. It's not a really long vacation but it's a quick little getaway and it's something that's really, really needed especially since I have not traveled throughout this whole pandemic. Um, I know a lot of you guys can relate. The journey through the airport wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be you guys it was quick and efficient you just have to have all your documents ready on time so the documents needed for jamaica are a negative covid test and a travel authorization forms and you also get that on the website so i'll link everything down below for you guys if you guys are interested in traveling to jamaica but those are really the two items that you need negative covid test and travel authorization form as well as your passport and that's really it the journey traveling to jamaica it was similar to most of my other journeys you just need extra forms but yeah i just want to run you guys down a little bit about our journey here like i said we are here for four days and we're going to be doing a lot we're going to make the best out of these four days we all needed a break um and this is the perfect break like the view here is amazing you guys like and our resort is beautiful as well i believe every room has a balcony and our room has a view of both things so we have a mountain view as well as an ocean view and i just think that it's the most beautiful thing ever yeah enough of me talking um like i said we have a birthday dinner to get ready for it's 4 20 and the dinner reservations are for seven o'clock i have to hurry up and get ready because i'm also doing my friend's makeup for her birthday and yeah i'll introduce you guys to the girls once everybody is ready because everybody's changing right now and yeah so you guys it's hours later and we're finally ready this is what i have on today to chevelle for you guys that don't know her well how can you not know her for the first time viewers that's chevelle and maya's coming taking her birthday pictures but yeah this is what we have on my dress is by misbehave where's your dress from she in honey she in so we just finished taking our pictures and we're probably having dinner and a live band some spicy chicken, rice and cheese, garlic, herb, potatoes, as well as steamed vegetables. Watching a live band right now. She's doing a really, really good job. She's singing her butt off. Period. I don't know if you guys can really hear me, but yeah, we got the pictures. And yeah. Day. It's really our first official day in Jamaica. We're about to go get some breakfast. Everybody is dressed up right now. My swim and cover up is from Pretty Little Thing, just in case you guys were wondering. Last night, I literally had to reinstall this whole wig, you guys. The glue just was not it. No shade, it just was not it. We're gonna go get some breakfast, and then we have some excursions today. We're going to go to Martha's Bread, and they were trying to go to Margaritaville today. That's like a, a club, lounge type of thing, but it closes at 8 o'clock. If you guys don't know, Jamaica has a curfew of 9 p.m., so a lot of things close really, really early. First of official day in Jamaica and look at the mountain view and then look at the freaking ocean view this place is amazing I just love it I'm here with my girls you know like I said a well needed and yeah we're about to go downstairs and eat some breakfast probably at the main buffet no makeup sunscreened up I'm really excited I can't wait to see what the day brings up it does say that there's a 30% chance of it raining today nothing too crazy I also brought an umbrella I always pack a mini umbrella whenever I'm on vacation so we're currently at Mingo's the restaurant that we ate at yesterday 
to me for saying this because apparently there's a time limit for breakfast, which I would assume, right? But we weren't told that. So breakfast ended at 10.30, we got there at 10.50, the restaurant was closed, and they're gonna open back again at 12.30, but we're kinda hungry now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you oh, so much. I bring one for everyone. Thank, thank you. Know, you. Know, we don't use straws anymore. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We finished eating and we just took some pictures. I had the quesadilla. Maya and Sherelle had the, say it? Escovich. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna go to the pool that the resort has. Like I said, we do have excursions today. That's at 2.15, well the pickup is at 2.15. So we're gonna go hang out at the pool and then now get ready for the excursions. We're in Jamaica with it. Sherelle. Oh. Anyways, we're gonna take it on this water side. And this is Maya Cam now. Water slide here. I'm gonna be excited. I can't wait. Jamaica is just so beautiful. Like. Like it is so beautiful out here today and it's just like it is a little gloomy because it's supposed to rain today but it's still you know nice calm vibes and stuff like that it's actually our first time off the resort since we got here i can't wait to see everything I'm Captain Wilkie. Hi. Hi. The name of the river? Martha Bray. Martha Bray. Yeah. Where do you go to see for the water? Mm. If you watch a bigger fish. Ooh. Oh, this fish. Three miles right. Any question you want to ask, no problem. You're going to wait for them, okay? Okay. okay. But okay. we're on sure the raft, and oh, Cheryl is on her way because um, it's only two people per raft. Oh, see, two two yeah, it's literally no space yeah. for somebody else to sit on here unless you're like a kid. Look at my sis. And now we're gonna make our way together. Oh, it's so ethereal. It's <laughs> so beautiful and calm. Yeah. Like. Thank you so much. Okay. We just got some coconuts. This is actually my first time having a coconut. I've never had a coconut like straight from a coconut. Coconut water out of a coconut for the first time. So it's something okay. different. We just came from wrapping on Martha's Bray. I would have vlogged, but it was freaking raining and I'm not getting my camera wet. Let me take some pictures though. So yep. well, my wig is intact though. Unlike earlier, my wig is intact. So, so you guys, it's currently dinner time. How are you doing this evening? Hello, hi. How many Three. Three. Yeah. I'm calling a server. Sit back and do it for you, all right? All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You want something to drink? Um, just water for water right for now. now. Yeah. Oh, man, you have a long day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Coming at the restaurant Luna at the resort that we're staying at. This restaurant basically has international foods and stuff like that. And they have a live piano player. Good. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. We just scanned the menu and we're going to eat. I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging too much. It's just that I've been having a lot of fun and it's just like, you know when you're having fun and in the moment, like my first instinct, my first instinct is not to pick up the camera. So I'm trying to pick up the camera as many times as I can. Probably concerned or wondering, I'm not on keto on vacation. Life is meant to be lived. <laughs> Life is meant to be lived and I'm going to be living it. Hello. <laughs> and I'm going to be living my life and so my best one at that. Make is just honestly amazing. Like it's just been so fun. I'm gonna try to vlog literally everything. We're going to be going on a cruise tomorrow. It's like a party cruise. And I'm gonna put more of my friends in the vlog. But it's just like the stuff that we joke about, I can't even put it on YouTube. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like, oh my god. Like, it's like, that's how you guys are like, oh my gosh, you don't see your friends. They're here, you guys, but, you know, yeah. For explicit content. <laughs> I'll show you guys my food and stuff once it gets here. I'm sorry if the lighting is weird. Um, it's like a candlelit dinner type of place. This is my appetizer right now. Maya already finished her appetizer. And this is Sherelle's. And I'm gonna dig in. This looks good. I look super duper crazy right now. It's currently 6.22 in the morning in Jamaica. I've been up since 4 a.m. Usually when I wake up, I can't go back to sleep. So I was doing a lot of different things. I started editing. I started doing a lot of things. And I was like, I really want to watch the sunrise. Now I'm on the beach watching the ocean. And I think I'm going to finish editing a vlog that I need to have out. But when can I really do this? Like watch the sunrise on the beach. So my and Sherelle is still sleeping in the room. And the good thing about this resort is that literally the beach, you're not getting off the resort. It's still on the resort and it's basically right here. So I'm still on the resort, you guys. I know you guys are like, don't go nowhere by yourself. I feel completely safe. My view right now is just something that's like crazy. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm blessed. Honestly, I'm blessed. And it's not even cold. Like, oh my God, I have a clean one because, you know, I thought it was going to be a little cheap, but it's really not. I got off the beach. It was breakfast time and I was like, oh my gosh, let me eat some breakfast. Usually I would wait for my friends, but they're still sleeping. It's 7 a.m. I usually never eat breakfast this early. So I got some food that I know that I'm like, and I also got some, you know, Jamaican food that I wanted to try, breakfast foods. They had macaroni saltfish. This is the breakfast and this is the dumplings. I look so crazy, excuse me. And then I got some French toast with some scrambled eggs, Invisalign as well. Now I'm gonna try the macaroni and dumplings. I already know how scrambled eggs and French toast taste. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, this is good. I wouldn't eat this for breakfast, but it's good though. It's spicy. This is that good. It says portion though, because there's a lot of bones in it. I typically wouldn't eat fish for breakfast, but it's good. And the fried dumpling is really, it tastes better. Jamaican breakfast is good. I wanted to try aki and saltfish, I believe. But this is macaroni and selfish. Yup, we didn't miss breakfast today. That's really good. So, you guys, I got dressed and now we're on our way to this like boat or yacht type thing. The ride to the place is one hour, so I'm going to be linking everything that we did in the description down below. So, all the exact names and everything will be in the description. So, please check it out. We're on our way on the boat right now. So, we're getting ready to go snorkeling. Sure, are you snorkeling? No. So, it's just gonna be me and my snorkeling. Do I look like a D head? Do I look like a D head, Maya? Do I look yeah. like a D head? I just keep snorkeling. My lashes did get wet because water kept on going in um, my little goggle. My hair is somewhat still intact. Like, I may look like a D head, but I'm protected. But, anyways, we're in the front of the boat right now. Maya wants to go get some pics real quick. And we're just gonna lay, and I wanna tan a little bit. So. Yeah, I need my lashes to dry. Like, it's kind of annoying because I don't like wet lashes. So, you guys, me and Maya about to do jet ski. How much is the jet ski? Okay, we could both get on. You think so? All right, thank you. We're going to do jet ski, you guys. We have Macarena Bill. And we're going to jet ski. We 
just came from Dead Sea, you guys, so it's the fact that this is what we're really doing right now. During a whole panoramic, like, life is just amazing. A Panasonic. <laughs> So you guys, I just finished filming a get ready with me in Jamaica and now I actually have to get dressed because it's raining and the sun is setting and I kind of want the sun in my picture, so. It's a meal that I've been waiting for ever since I landed in Jamaica. Um, I can't wait, like, let me just try it out. This is the jacket I wanted. Guys, it's the next morning and it's raining. The mix are on display because we have ATVing today. I'm not gonna get my wig dirty at all whatsoever, but I'm currently eating breakfast. I need to go, I don't care. You guys don't have to don't care. But today, I'm trying a key and saltfish, fried dumpling with five plantains, a Jamaican apple, and pineapple. Trying to make this vlog really, really interesting, right? But it's like when you're having so much fun, and it's not like fun, like because I'm doing acting, it's just that I'm hanging out with my friends. It's just mad funny whenever I'm around them. So that's why I'm having fun, but then again, we are also doing activities. I'm trying to vlog every activity that we do, but the equipment, I don't have the proper equipment for it. Like, I can't bring my phone on some of them. I can't, you know, record it in some of them. So next vlog, next vacation I go on, guess what? We're gonna be having a lot of underwater footage and a lot of, you know, action shit. So we're gonna try the I can't Fish. It looks like scrambled eggs though. I've never even had this. It doesn't really have a taste, but like together, I know it tastes good. It's actually really good. Thank you so much. This is good. No wonder people go crazy over it. I'm gonna get another plate guys. I'm gonna finish eating and then come back once we're on our way to the ATV place. So the shadow is here, so now we're going to go. I went ahead and put a wig on and bought a bandana because of the fact that it'll just look better. But I really don't want to mess up my hair. Hey! On a bus. We're all repping um Jamaica. I have the Jamaica shirt on me and I have the bandana on and I have the fanny pack as well. We all went to get shopping this flourish. So now we have the Montego Bay sign, the official welcome to Montego Bay sign. And that is located in the Canal Santos International Airport, roundabout. Two main international airports in Jamaica. Canal Santos International, which is in Montego Bay. And the Norman Manley International, which is in Kingston. In Jamaica, most of our streets and lanes are named from familiar persons of Jamaica. We are on the Godfrey Daya Boulevard and Godfrey Daya is known to be a politician. So in Jamaica, our main language is Patwa. So today you'll be hearing a lot of Yaman, that means yes. What a go on, me know what you're doing. Tiring, mean I'm okay. And you say eh eh, when you say no. In Jamaica, we have 14 parishes and 8 parishes of a capital. So Montego Bay is the capital of the parish St. James. Montego Bay is the poorest capital of Jamaica. Montego Bay is also the second city in Jamaica. The first and largest city in Jamaica is Kingston. As you can see to our left, the big Colonel Bucket. of the largest KFC in Jamaica. One of three that is located in Montego Bay. I know you all may not love KFC back home, but in Jamaica, if you try KFC, you come back here every time for KFC. 
we are passing by the downtown area of Montego Bay, the left turn of the stoplight will take you to the town centre, which is known as Sam Sharp Square. It is named from one of our national heroes, Samuel Sharp. The right turn will take you onto Pier 1. Pier 1 is a restaurant, sport bar, and used to be a good bar this bar. As you all know, our party is restricted, so no party at the moment, unless you are on the catamaran. The big white building that is coming up to our right is one of our main police stations at the Freeport Police Station, the largest in Montego Bay. The walls to our left located one of our community college, the Montego Bay Community College. So you guys need to check out Ocean Outpost. I'm on the swing right now and it's We're on our way to Japan right now, you guys. Before we go ATV. Yeah, can you record on my We're doing hammocks. My lashes are wet, but I just had an amazing time. That was so fast, too. Now, I think our time is about to be up for our ATV tour. So, the tour is about to start. I'm on my own ATV. Maya and Cheryl are on a doom buggy because Cheryl doesn't have her license, so she needs to buy with somebody. So, she's going to be riding with Maya, so they're on a doom buggy. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're all in the back. I'm in the front because I'm a beginner. I don't know how to do this. So, yeah, we're not separated, but we kind of are separated. Um, there's two different vehicles um, and I'll talk to you guys when the tour starts because it's about to start. Um, rest stop. We're taking like a five minute break right now. That shit was not fun. It's not over yet, but it was really, really fun. I wish the people ahead of me would, you know, drop a bit faster, but it is what it is. It's people's first time. After like the first two minutes, you get the hang of it, but. mangoes and yes the meats are on display and i'm here with Cheryl. we're having lunch we just came back from atv yes we yeah. did we just came back from the atv how was it Cheryl? i liked it a lot i had mad fun i had to do passenger because i don't have my license uh, but <laughs> and, but it was mad fun uh passenger was cool i was able to record and stuff so it was cool um, yeah what it is you guys are seeing is all because of Cheryl, because we're not able to record so while we're yeah. driving so Thanks, Sherelle, okay, uh -huh. period. Uh, but look, guys, so next time we go ATV in, she gonna have her license. license. And that's in- That's when we had a little lamp. Period. Uh. I got a Miami bike. It's like a strawberry pina colada, basically. Virgin, though. I taught them this trick of how to make boomerangs and drinks, y'all. You can't see, you really can't see it. Oh, uh, y'all see? Okay. You go in, and then you pull it out. Boom. I taught them. Now it's always- <laughs> We're gonna eat and then we're gonna go down the water slide that my wig came off. It's actually here, but I don't see you guys can see it. Where is it? It's like right there or something like that. I'm not too sure. But we're gonna eat first, chill, and then go into the water slide. And then we might go out tonight, so. It's a couple of hours later. We're about to head out to this lounge called 5050 um, in Montego Bay. I'm dressed or whatnot. Maya's dressed. We're ready. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Vintage D-Yo-Yo Levi's shorts. 
shoes are ASOS and I need to get a face mask and dip. I try to vlog when I'm at the um, lounge, but follow me on Instagram and you'll see the live action. So it's our last night and we won't get lit and that's one period. <laughs> the next morning we came back from the club last night it was so lit everything was lit we went to the club through a party tour thing we didn't even book this anything like that in advance the place that we went ATVing to I forgot the name of the place to be honest but the owner was there or whatnot and he invited us and he basically was like he has a tour company and it's called Montego Bay getaway the Instagram is Montego Bay underscore getaways and it's really really fun and lit I actually had a really good experience because of the fact that Jamaica said that you cannot go outside unless you have an excursion or something like that like they let you know that from jump like you cannot go outside without having an excursion and depending on the hotel how strict your hotel is they won't let you outside without like you know an excuse I'm not gonna say they won't let you outside but I'm just saying that you know like they write down especially our hotel they write down where you're going so I'm so happy that we were able to get this party tour it was so much fun last night we was um partying last night Shane Justin was there GC Wu was there you know I don't know if you guys know those people but if you have like IG and stuff like that you follow Jada Ari all of them they were there and whatnot it was lit it was fun we went to two spots last night we had so much fun like, that night was a memory i wasn't trying to vlog but i did incorporate some you know snaps and stuff of me and my friends you know just you know vibing or whatnot y'all definitely have to hit jamaica once again i have to hit montego bay one more time and then i'm gonna hit the other spots of jamaica because baby montego bay has not seen everything of amina and i wish covid wasn't you know here i think everybody wishes that but because of covid there is a curfew so actual clubs have to close at like 9 9 30 so literally as soon as it was 9 30 literally they shut off the music it was like after party though and we went to the after party and it was freaking lit today's the last morning in jamaica i'm gonna miss seeing this beautiful view hopefully our flight does not get canceled because of the fact that if you guys don't know i'm from new york is a snowstorm in new york i don't want to leave paradise to a snowstorm at all whatsoever i'm gonna miss seeing this view i already packed all of my stuff i actually have on my last fit that i need to take a picture in before i leave jamaica and then i did all my fits i accomplished all of my missions i took a picture in all the clothes that i brought so i'm super duper happy i don't know if everything's gonna be posted but i took a picture in every outfit that i brought with me so i'm really happy about that it's currently 9 12 a.m we're gonna leave the resort at 11 a.m make it for our flight at 2 p.m so that's the tea for right now Guys, our flight has just been canceled because of the snowstorm that I was telling you about earlier. I'm low-key panicking, but then again, it's just like, what the heck? Like, I've never dealt with a canceled flight before, and it's just like, oh, what do we do? We're calling people to see if we could extend our stay and stuff like that. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. We packed in everything, and we, I don't have no other clothes here, so I'm going to have to re some things. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, wow. Shoot. Fine. You want me to get a different place? That much, that's Are you sure? I don't want it to be a problem, an issue. I'm sorry about that. So scramble egg. Scramble egg and cheese, waffle, and French toast. Wow. I'll just eat my banana and then you want. French toast. French toast. So you guys, I'm currently eating. Well, I was gonna eat breakfast, but I spilled water all over my breakfast. I'm gonna be in paradise for an extra day, so it's lit. <laughs> all right, you guys, so this is the last moments in Jamaica. So basically, we're still kind of stranded. We're not gonna be stranded in Jamaica no longer. So we're going to be flying out from Jamaica to Atlanta because there are no flights going into New York. So we're going to be flying into Atlanta. Just might be an Atlanta vlog coming soon, so stay tuned for that. It's like that we might get another flight to New York Wednesday or Thursday, which is enough time to get lit in and so baby like i said stay tuned for that this is my official last day in montego bay jamaica i had so much fun you know memories have been made backs have been brought waistlines have been wine you feel me maya birthday has been made you get what i'm saying so you guys 
Jamaica. I was one for the buck. Honestly, honestly, amazing. For the buck. I got my last set of pictures, and now we're going to go and. I'm really gonna miss Jamaica so much. Like, oh my god. If you enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Period. <laughs> No girl can't see me and call for them I think I'm not a rule This is going to Jamaica and think they a yardie I'm big and they're a king jet She a fit in me in a street and fall And in a idiot If me and take a man, me a king jet Baby, me she's no them policy After 9 o'clock, she can't call me After me no idiot Yeah, 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 yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Ha, 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 ho, ho, ho Thank you.